Hi, I'm Gemma. Hi, I'm Steve, and today we're here in Morley and Outwood, where Ed Miliband, former Labour leader and leader of the opposition, will be here campaigning for the local Labour candidate, Neil Dawson. We're here because we want to find out what the Labour Party are going to do to get young people more engaged in politics. There's been quite a low engagement of young people in politics recently. We just want to know what are the Labour Party going to do to try and get more young people to feel like they connect with politics nowadays? Well, look, I'd urge all young people to get involved in this campaign, to register to vote and indeed to vote Labour. You know, this is about your future for young people. And it's also about this, which is do you trust young people or not? Now, Labour does. We want to lower the voting age to 16. I think that is actually a big symbol uh, of our willingness to trust young people. Um, so mental health is a really important yeah. issue for students and young people with one in four young people suffering a mental health crisis at the moment. What is Labour offering students and young people that are going through a tough time at the moment? Well, look, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think we need to make good on what the law uh, claims to be delivering, which it isn't, which is parity between mental health and physical health. That's got to be the big priority. So I think it starts with proper investment in the NHS, which only Labour is actually committing to do. But I think it goes beyond that as well. I also think it's about schools and what schools can do, because it's not just an issue for the NHS. It's also about what schools can do to make sure that they have an awareness uh, about yeah, and, and indeed kind of can channel support to young people. Talking to the shoppers in Morley, we now join the Labour team bringing politics to people's doors, giving them a chance to ask any questions they may have, which of course is very important. I mean, your vote will really, really count here. This election, like, the country it's will change dramatically. It. So I'm here with Katie, a Labour student from Leeds. Katie, why should young people be bothered about this election? Um, I think because it's so important and ultimately the um, party who win are going to decide our future is what with Brexit and also because um, if we don't bother now then we'll never bother in the future. As we've seen today, the action isn't all just in the big cities. It's small towns just as this that will decide who comes out on top on June the 8th. And as we learn today, it's so important that students and young people engage in politics, whether it's tuition fees, housing, mental health or more. It's so important that you use your voice, have your say, make sure that you vote.